Hello, and welcome to Studio 415. On today's show, you'll hear why many local students are experiencing new life. You'll see how the girls' volleyball team is off to a strong start. And you'll get to meet a new teacher at CHS. All of that and more coming up next. We learn how to go on a job interview, how to apply for jobs, where to find jobs. We had a great season last year, and I think the mentality is to continue on. A big celebration of being able to accept him into your heart. Welcome to Studio 415. I'm Vinny Bain. And I'm Carson Beeman. This fall, many Carroll students have renewed their life through baptism and made a deeper commitment to their faith. Studio 415 reporter Nally Winter shares the symbolism and the impact that water and community have on this decision. Baptism is a custom that Christians do when they believe that they are at a point in their faith where they have fully decided to give their life to Jesus and accept Him into their heart. The dunking symbolizes that the old has gone and the new has come. When the people come up from the water, applause ignites from the crowd as everyone celebrates the commitments these people have made. Pathway Community Church held outdoor baptisms on August 27th at 921 Pion Road. The church holds many baptisms throughout each year dedicated to those wanting to renew their relationship with Christ. Trials in a person's life could be harmful to their faith, no matter how strong it is or if you've been baptized before. Though someone might be baptized already, doesn't mean they can't decide to renew their faith too. Carol sophomore Savannah Vance reveals that something similar is present within her family. I think my mom has, even though she just got baptized today, but she's been looking forward to this and like she says that it's like, she's grown up in a Christian household and so whenever she got baptized, I think this is her second time getting baptized, it's just her accepting him completely. Although a person can be baptized for a second time, for most individuals, it was a first. With that comes anxiety and nervousness, but once it is all said and done, a weight is lifted off their shoulders. Carol freshman Reese Green says that the support from the crowd calmed his anxiousness. Like before I got baptized, I was kind of, I don't know why I was nervous, but I kind of was. But um, I had my brother with me. We went and he didn't, he already had been baptized, but um, he helped me get baptized. And it, I don't know, it was just, it was just a great day because I had so many people that were just so happy for me. The crowd happily sits through the full event, patiently waiting for all the individuals to get baptized. Hundreds of people gather around an encouragement to support every decision that was made by the people. Pathway Middle School pastor Colin Villanueva believes that the event should be celebrated with others. Um, you know, I always like to say it's it's like your birthday. You know, everybody wants to celebrate their birthday. You know, when you turn 16, you know, uh, why not let people celebrate with you the fact that you turned 16 and so when someone makes the decision to follow Jesus in that moment they're saved. With more opportunities to get baptized in the future additional information is always available to you. If you wish to learn more feel free to contact Pathway on their official website under the contacts page. For Studio 415 I'm Natalie Winter. Coming off of one of the best seasons in school history girls volleyball is back in full swing with a record of 18 and 5. In our story, we take a look at the start of the volleyball season and their expectations for the year. Last season, the varsity girls started out with a program record 22-0. They finished 31-3 after a regional loss to the eventual state champions Hamilton Southeastern. Now, with a solid start to the season and 14 sectional titles in a row, the Chargers are hoping to achieve some more postseason success. Coach Pandy Sinish says that this team is young but eager to win. So the expectations were that we were going to be very good, but it was going to be an up and down growing year at times. And I've been really excited and happy with the athleticism and the growth we've already shown. With last year's six seniors gone, there is a huge void for the upcoming underclassmen on the team. This year's team filled six sophomores and one freshman. But the inexperience has not stopped the Chargers' success, only losing one game at home this season. Being a returning member of the varsity team last year, junior Chloe Hirschberger believes that this team's unity will help the Lady Chargers go far. 
Um, I think we're all excited because last postseason was pretty good and we competed really well against HSC and I'm excited to see how far we'll go because I think we're doing good as working together as a team. The Chargers currently have double digit wins with two of the losses coming from the best teams in the state, Hamilton Southeastern and Belmont. Even with the tough road ahead and postseason drawing near, the Chargers are working together to be ready. Senior setter Olivia Gislin says that the team stays close with each other throughout the long season. So we do team dinners before every game and so that helps. And then a lot of us are friends outside through like connections. So like a lot of people go through Pathway for their church or like we all play club together. So it's a lot easier to like know a person and be like connected. If you're hoping to see the Chargers in action, stop by tomorrow night at seven as they take on the Homestead Spartans. For Studio 415, I'm Carson Beeman. Students starting the school year are seeing some new teacher faces around the building. Studio 415 reporter Ava Coe tells us about the new adult roles and responsibilities teacher and how her class can help students transition into adulthood. Carroll High School has many courses that teach important adulthood skills, such as business math, technical communication, child development, and adult roles and responsibilities. This year, Carol welcomes a new adult roles teacher, Elizabeth Beers, who has been teaching family and consumer science for four years at Northrop High School. This year, she transitioned to teaching at Carroll High School because she and her family grew up in the next district, and Beers is a Carroll graduate. But I graduated from Carroll, and my family goes through Carroll, or goes to NAC schools, and so I felt like I just wanted to come home. Like it was a good fit for me, and I was excited to have the opportunity to come back to Carroll. Adult Roles class was previously taught by Megan Scholes, who teaches fashion and textiles class and runs Carol's fashion shows. Ali Southfrank was going to teach the Adult Roles class, but left Carol to pursue her pottery dream. Beers took over the class at the beginning of the school year while also teaching culinary. Adult Roles class teaches students a number of basic adulting skills, from important things like how to find a professional job, financial responsibilities, and how to rent or buy a home, to small things like basic cooking skills, loading a dishwasher, and doing laundry. Beers claims these skills give students a real-world experience before leaving high school. Students who are currently working or driving can learn helpful tips like paying taxes and insurance, and understanding a pay stub. Beers thinks this class is a great opportunity to learn everything you need to know before becoming an adult and to find a successful career. And we cover everything from just learning more about ourselves. We learn how to go on a job interview, how to apply for jobs, where to find jobs. We learn about like families and parenting. Um, we learn about like basic nutrition and so like we'll do um, some basic cooking skills. The Adult Roles and Responsibilities class is an elective that is only available to juniors and seniors and teaches skills you need to learn for the future. If you're interested in taking a class like this as a freshman and sophomore, you can join Interpersonal Relations class that teaches skills you need to learn as a high schooler. Junior Lena Havenmeyer tells us about how this class will and has helped her. Because I do not need to know how to do like taxes and stuff and um uh, like basic other basic adult things like I didn't even know how to make a resume before this class. If you're interested in taking this class next year make sure to look for it on your course selection sheets and make sure to give Miss Beers a warm welcome. For Studio 415 I'm Ava Coe. The girls volleyball team and boys tennis are headed towards the postseason and are looking for success. Jaden Householder and Chase Roberts bring you this week's Charger Sports Center. Hello and welcome to the Charter Sports Center. I'm Chase Roberts and here with me is my co-host Jaden Householder. Boys Tennis finished off the regular season with their annual senior night at home against Blackhawk Christian. The boys would win this match 5-0 and improve to 14-5 and starting their postseason here at Carroll on the 28th. This match is a very strong way to end the regular season for boys tennis. All three singles players holding their opponents to a combined total of five games. Doubles are also able to hold their opponents to five total games. We were able to catch up with head coach Kyle Stoffel after the match to get his overview on what he expects heading into this postseason. Every year the expectations win section. I mean, regardless of who's in it and, and, and how we've done the rest of the year, our expectations always win section. So. Girls volleyball is back in action this week with a quick 3-0 win against Warsaw. This moves a record to an impressive 18-3. In this match, Olivia Gislin managed to break 30 setting assists. 
Bailey Sinish finished with four serving aces, and Sarah Stiegel had nine kills. The girls are back at home on September 28th against Homestead. Well, Carroll football began their two-game homestand last week with a close win against Wayne. It was a defensive battle on Friday with Carroll edging out the win 17-10. A lot of ground game played for Carroll with running backs Nate Stark and Braden Steely recording 196 total rushing yards. Starks was also able to record a rushing touchdown on his end of the run game. Carroll quarterback Jimmy Sullivan is looking to have a comeback game next week in front of the Neon Nation. He tells the Charter Sports Center how you'd like next week's rivalry matchup to go. I think we need to get back to practice and work on a lot. Um, you know, a win is a win, but there's still a lot of stuff we need to work on and focus on going into next week. Carroll moves a 4-2 and two on the season, putting him in third place in the SAC behind Bishop Lewis and Snyder. Carroll football is back in action this week for the blackout game against the Homestead Spartans, a wrap of another great week for Carroll sports. Well, that's all we have for this week. Signing off at the Charger Sports Center, I'm Chase Roberts. And I'm Jaden Householder. Back to you guys in the studio. There is a large number of student drivers to use their car to get to school every day. Studio 415 reporter Ella Hall is wanting to see what you keep in your car. Her new series is called Car Tour, and here's the first episode. Hi, and welcome to Car Tour. Now, you're probably wondering, what is Car Tour? Well, I'm going to have to show you today because it's kind of hard to explain, but I hope that you'll enjoy it. And today we will be um, joined by the Owen James Byram. Um, he is about EA tall and um, is a nerd. Hi, Owen's here now. Owen James Byram, the Owen James Byram. EA tall, you got it. Oh, too late, but that's okay. Owen, introduce us to your car. Okay. Car, car type and name. Oh, uh, this car type is a Lincoln MK. He knew it so well last time. Lincoln MKX, uh, year 2013, name's Ty, because, you know, got a name for car. We're entering the vehicle. Hopefully this time my big fat head doesn't get in the way. What's what's that? What's you what do you think it is? Oh, it's another O. It's a oh, you already, but you already dug in. No, I didn't. Oh, why is, hold up. It's just uneven. Uneven? It's food. Look in there. Oh. Let's get to that part. You broke him last time. See if we can keep him in somewhat. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> give me the. Give me the. That's why we can't have nice things. Out on yep. Yeah, I think I do. They're probably back here. Hat. Hat. You want your hat? Hat. A towel. Hey, 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 you're a... Please don't. He's a girl. Yep. He's a Barbie girl. Barbie girl. There are the goggles. Oh! I'm not putting them on this time. Why? It was such a good look. Uh, Didn't I, you love I it? I received the pictures and I'm not putting them on this time. <laughs> You should, ah, oh, what? Whoa. I want everybody to know, ew, it still has stuff in it. Does it? Yes, he's gonna drink it. <laughs> that was embarrassing. Don't. Now it's gonna be under your car yep. for like ever, until you move. I'll get it. Please tell him we got that. Can we car tour him next? <laughs> can we? Yeah. Who's we? Can, can we have a car tour of your scooter? Yeah. Huh? We're doing. No, a explain. Tour explain your. Expl what kind of what kind of scooter do you have? This is so old. This one's the E one for like the five. This one's my old one. I have another one at home at. Um, with that wheel box entirely. No, no, he's the son of a Barbie girl. Oh. I'm actually, I'm actually the dad. Um. You can eat my burrito. Oh. You can eat it. Anyways. Thank you for your permission. <laughs>
This has been Car Tour, and I hope that you enjoyed. And um, with Studio 415, it's me and Z. That's all we have for today. Thanks for watching. If there's a story you would like us to cover, please let us know. For all of us here at Studio 415, have a great week, Carol.